so you need an album cover artwork. Today I want to show you the exact camera settings, what to do, and even how to edit it in Lightroom to get an album cover like this. Enjoy. What is up guys, my name is Steven Womack. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. Today we want to be taking a look at this blurry picture that I've taken. I've just released a single on Spotify, my first single ever, just as a side project, music project that I always wanted to do. Um, so I ended up with a problem needing some kind of cover, some kind of artwork to go with the track. And I heard that a lot of you guys also have the same problem or you also want to create some artwork for your album, some album cover, um, EP cover, anything like that. And I was really into that blurry look and that's one that you highly requested as well. And it's a super easy and quick way um, to create a really amazing shot for your artwork. Also, if it's not for an album cover, you can just post it as a creative picture as well. And it's actually really simple to do and that's what I'm gonna show you today. All you will need is a camera or your smartphone and the free Lightroom app or if you have Lightroom on your computer already, that will do the job as well. Now, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the notifications bell to not miss out on any of my future tutorials. And of course, if there's anything you need from me or you have any questions of any sort, Always feel free to DM me on Instagram, at Stephen Womack is my handle, and I'm always open for conversation and really excited to hear from you guys. Now I've said enough, let's jump right into this tutorial and I'll show you how to create your first, or maybe just a new album cover um, right now, super easy, let's go. So first of all, find a really nice spot in your house where you can get some natural light, some light from outside. If you don't have that, you can also turn on the light and just look, use a good light source at home. Then build up a tripod or ask a friend maybe to take a picture. I didn't have one right now, so <laughs> I just um, build up a tripod, set the camera on top of it, facing my way, of course. And now this is the, the most important part is that we want to use a really slow shutter speed of around 0.8 and adjust the other settings accordingly. Make sure the shutter speed is low, 0.8, around that. Um, that's the most important thing. And now you just want to take pictures, shaking your head in front of the camera. Just shake your head, make sure there's a lot of movement. Maybe also you can take the camera off and then just take the picture and move the camera. Or you could also do both, move your head and the camera and you'll get these really blurry pictures. So now we're right here on the computer and now we wanna edit these pictures that we have just taken. We wanna get that blue look, red look, maybe green look, get some grain in there. So what you wanna do is open them in the Lightroom app or I'm gonna open them on Lightroom on my computer. Now you can also do this on your mobile phone if you want to, cause it's just gonna be the normal Lightroom settings. Um, you can do this on the computer or um, you can do the exact same ones on the phone. So we go to develop right here. This is the picture I picked. I just thought it was the, the nicest one in my opinion. And then I just cropped it a little bit. First of all, pull down the saturation here all the way. Then it's still, still too bright for me. So I just wanna pull down the exposure a little bit. The shadows, we wanna pull them down maybe a little bit. And the whites maybe maybe up even a little bit. And um, now the contrast down a little to make it look kind of blown out, faded. And um, then I think we're good here. Now we go to where it says, um, where we do the split toning, which is also the grading on the mobile phone. And what we wanna do here is if we want the blue look, we pull that to a blue hue and then the saturation all the way up. Same thing with the shadows, blue hue and the saturation all the way up and now we have this blue look here already um, you can also maybe like play around with this a little if you want to go for more kind of a green blue or even a darker blue right here so this looks kind of cool to me now what we want to do is go down and find grain right here and now we want to boost that up in my case, all the way is what I like because we really want to mess up this picture and make it look as grainy and um, blown out as possible. Now, maybe even we can pull down the contrast a little more on this one here and then maybe dehaze. So we go to where it says dehaze. Um, it's an effect on the mobile phone, but on the computer, it's right here under grain. And we want to pull that down a little bit 
maybe around here. Now you see you can really get creative with this. Um, you can also do a red look if you want. We go to the split toning again, which is the grading on the mobile phone. And now we just push this towards maybe like an orange red and this, the shadows as well. Hue to that orange red here, maybe there, or we can do it two-tone, something like that, maybe around here is cool. Um, yeah, as I said, just get creative with this, and there's really no right or wrong way to do it. Um, just do whatever you like and get creative with it. And this is it, guys. Here are the end results. And I really like this variation, the blue, the red. You can also do green, yellow, whatever you please, orange, or mix more colors in the, in the look to really make it look super creative and unique. I think it's just a really cool way to create something really interesting without needing to buy any extra gear or big studio or go outside, find a nice location. It's really simple and easy to do at home and it's super quick. And I just wanted to share this with you. Now, if you haven't already, also make sure to check out my all presets pack. Link is under this video. It features over 150 easy to paste presets for your Lightroom mobile app. And the cool thing about this all presets pack is that once you buy it, you will be getting all the future presets for free. So you just have to buy it once and you'll have a growing preset pack. I think it's a great deal. Make sure to check it out. Link is under this video. Of course, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to this channel, hit the notifications bell, show some love, drop me some comments. And of course, if you have any questions, always feel free to DM me on Instagram at Stephen Womack is my handle. And I'm always excited to hear from you guys. Now, thank you so much for watching. I hope I'll see you in the next video. And I'm really excited to see all of your album covers, your artwork that you're going to do with this video. Until um, then, stay creative, stay healthy, peace.